Yes, yes, yes. It's Raphael Dawkins, Combat Radio. And if you haven't subscribed already, please kindly do so. And today, we bring you news of UFC, UFC fighter Yo Romero winning a tainted supplement lawsuit and awarded $27 million in damages. Now, who is Yo Romero? Well, Yo Romero is one of the UFC's top middleweight fighters, championship fighter. And what happened back in February 2016 was Romero was informed by USADA that he had tested positive for the banned substance Ibutamorin and facing a potential two-year suspension. Romero immediately claimed innocence and pointed to a tainted supplement for the issue. USADA confirmed that the supplement provided to them was contained ibutamorin, ibutamorin, which was not listed as an ingredient in the supplement, and Romero was suspended for six months. In January 2018, reports surfaced Romero had officially filed a legal action against Gold Star Performance Products, who were the maker of the product in question. Given, to, given the relative small scope of Gold Star Performance Products compared to supplement industry leaders, it remains to be seen what percentage of the 27 Point four five million Romero will receive before the company is devoid of cash flow and assets and forced to file for bankruptcy. Romero is currently scheduled to fight Paulo Paulo Costa in a key middleweight bout at UFC two forty two August seventeen. The event takes place at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. So, as I said before, Yo Romero, top UFC middleweight fighter, was suspended for six months in 2016 because he took a supplement supplement he believed was perfectly safe no banned substances on the ingredients list but yet still he popped dirty but was able to establish his innocence but still received the six month ban now he's got the 27 million lawsuit win but how much of that will he get? Who's to say? Who's to know? But at least he's been able to vindicate his name. So that is a positive result for Yao Romero, the Cuban. He was in the Cuban Olympic team for wrestling. Outstanding wrestler. He says he remembers Luis Ortiz from back in the day. Way back in the day. But it's good to know that he's been vindicated, cleared of any wrongdoing. So, people. Just because somebody's jacked it doesn't mean they're touching illegal substances. Bear that in mind. 
when you're flinging stones or rocks. It's Raphael Dawkins. It's Combat Radio. If you have not subscribed already, please kindly do so. Remember, like, comment, and share. And I'm out. <laughs>